Roll call, please. Mr. Ann Barrington? Here. Mr. Bo? Here. Mr. Tuari? Here. And Chairman Galtieri? Here. Can we stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. In accordance with the provisions of Chapter 231 New Jersey Public Laws of 1975, the opening, the Open Public Meetings Act, adequate notice of this meeting has been provided by the giving of notice to the Courier News, posting the agenda in the public lobby of this building 48 hours prior to this meeting. Delivery of this notice to the Franklin Township Clerk at least 48 hours prior to this meeting, and mailing notice to those persons properly requesting to be mailed notification of meetings at least 48 hours prior to this meeting. All right. Is there a motion to open the meeting for public comments? Motion. Second. Okay. All those in favor of opening the meeting for public comments, say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? All right. Seeing no public here, is there a motion to close the meeting for public comments? So moved. Second. Okay. All those in favor of closing the meeting for public comments, say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? All right. Moving right along. Uh, in front of you, you should have the uh, working session monthly board meeting minutes from November 6, 2019, as well as well as the executive session monthly board meeting minutes from November 6, 2019. Uh, so if you want to take us a minute to review both, if you haven't already. Any questions, concerns, revisions needed? All right. If not, is there a motion to approve the working session monthly board meeting minutes from November 6, 2019? Motion. Second. Okay. Uh, roll call, please. Mr. Anderson? Yes. Mr. Bo? Yes. Mr. Tuari? Yes. And Chairman Gautieri? Yes. All right, is there a motion to approve the executive session monthly board meeting minutes, or the executive session uh, minutes from the November I think that Mr. Tawari's vote should be abstained. He was absent from the meeting. You weren't here? No, what meeting? Last, last, last one. Last one, that was you. He was here. He came here. Who was you? Yes, you're right. I apologize. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, so is there a motion to approve the executive session meeting minutes from November 6, 2019? So moved. Okay. Second. Okay, roll call, please. Mr. Ryan Balancing? Yes. Mr. Bo? Yes. Mr. Tawari? Here. Yeah. And Chairman Galtieri? Yes. All right. Um, moving on to executive summary professional reports. Okay, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, everyone can open up to the report that says the Executive Summary Professional Reports. I'll start with that one. Uh, again, you have the detailed professional reports in your packet. Uh, just go through them and highlight it. Uh, uh, no, at the moment, legal issue, there are no significant issues uh, to discuss. Uh, the Marcy Street, again, relative to my uh, report last month, uh, there continues to be no change as we are waiting to get back from the iBank. Uh, we're still estimating authorization to advertise to be March of 2020. Uh, Hamilton Street pump station, that color is green. Uh, we've had significant progress uh, on the construction site itself and uh, there was a construction progress meeting held on November 21st um, and that meeting went well. Included in tonight's um, uh, payments is a pay app for $862,531.32 uh, for, for pay app two. And with that, the financials are, are green. 9% of the engineering budget is expended and 33% of the construction budget is expended with the payment from tonight. Uh, relative to Somerset Street Pump Station, uh, we're green. Really, we are down to uh, some minor paperwork. Uh, we expect to process the last pay application in January, as uh, Howard is, is working with 
um, great to uh, to finalize that. And relative to colors, again, uh, we're green uh, because of, we have not made that last chaos. They have not submitted. Clarify. Um, the East Milton concept um, tonight we uh, received. Or earlier last week, uh, earlier in the month, in November, I received the proposal for professional services. Uh, for that, there's a uh, contract that has been presented. It's currently uh, been reviewed my, by myself and Scott, and just spoke to Eric. Eric's team is still reviewing it. Uh, tonight, we're, we'll need to have a motion made to allow us to execute it upon approval, and then at next month, we would incorporate uh, a resolution. Uh, for that, uh, to, to uh, move on that, and that the, the total of the professional services is $36,600. Brian, that's, that's not the amount of the proposal. Oh, did I was, read the wrong one? Uh, I'm, we, can, we can talk about it more, um, but I think that's the uh, optional services if, okay. if we get into um, difficulty with permitting. Okay. There's a much so it wouldn't worse. exceed the 30. It's less than that. It's no, it's a lot. <coughs> oh, then what is the amount? I think it's uh, 336 oh. or something like that. I, did that I missed that. Why okay. don't we All right. So That's anyway, what we'll need is uh, an authorization <laughs> to yeah. to um, to move forward once it's gone through the uh, and have received review or approval from Eric's team. Uh, and then at the next meeting, we'll handle the resolution for that. Uh, with that would be a tentative, uh, the current date, which is um, a rather conservative due to the permitting process. Uh, just for your memory, remember this is East Millstone down by the firehouse. It's on the, there's a piece of the pump station that's, that, that trips over or taps over into the, uh, the canal area. So, you know, depending upon, we're, we've, we've cleared it verbally. Uh, we don't expect there to be issues, but um, we're still taking a, um, a conservative approach with, with the schedule. However, I've had discussions with Eric on, I mean, with um, Howard on moving that up and uh, trying to make it more aggressive for, for the next version of the schedule. And the financials agreeing on that. With that, I'm going to turn it over to uh, Joe Danielson of Network Blade for his report on the infrastructure, the IT infrastructure. Good evening, Commissioners. Uh, our emailing, uh, email filtering service and our firewall are uh, actively demonstrating how much malware they are uh, st stopping before they get into the office. I provide you statistics and a graphics uh, representation in the report. Um, each month you'll see how, on a percentage basis, <coughs> how invaluable this service is. Um, all the workstations have been deployed and completed, even though uh, it, it says Christians is still remaining. He was deployed yesterday and finished up last night, uh, with the exception of uh, the AutoCAD installation. Uh, we're not sure if we could transfer it from that version from the old computer to the other. It's not an insignificant software. All it um, still waiting for uh, the next meeting uh, for the uh, data storage management uh, the vendor. And um, so I did. Uh, I did get a, a something in writing from the uh, security auditing vendor. So they have a flat fee actually for everybody. Uh, for $50 per employee per year, um, they provide a, a baseline um, a baseline audit uh, of awareness and scanning of the network. Uh, they provide that right up front. They also provide monthly simulated phishing campaigns, so they're going to attempt to send in emails to fool the uh, the, the staff, so they they'll know if, if you open up the email, they'll know if you clicked on it. And I just saw a report from one of my other vendors today. Uh, it's remarkable. Eighty percent of emails are are opened and clicked on, even though we uh, I, you know, I send out emails once a month to, to them in addition to that. 
uh, but they have a 90% success rate to get employees to open up a malicious email. But, uh, and, you know, they actually provide which employees did it. <laughs> um, so and they also provide a very short, convenient uh, video to watch uh, monthly. It's only three to five minutes. Um, so, you know, that gets emailed to the employee. Hey, w you know, watch this this month's uh, video. And then they come in and they give uh, quarterly status reports on their vulnerability scans. So $50 per employee per year, you know, is not a lot. It's a 25-seat uh, minimum. And it's... Uh, you, you're just not going to get any price comparison that low by anybody. I mean, I haven't been able to find anyone. It's usually four or five times that. So, and th and this is the vendor that uh, Central Jersey Jeff anyway works very closely with. So, uh, that's it. The firewalls, uh, the new firewalls in place. It's currently uh, providing scanning services for uh, virus malware. Uh, exploits. Um, I also, it's also providing a geo filter, so um, a geo filter based upon IP address. So anything outside the United States is automatically blocked. I mean that, that's just what I what I said. So how many workstations we have? Anything in the other building or just all here? Uh, you have uh, one in the other building, and then if you want to call, uh, count the one in the truck, so you have you know, about a dozen. Yeah. Yeah, because they're locked in. So when you're talking with the employee, the $50 an employee, that's just those workstations? or It's a 25 minimum. Minimum. For 25 minimum. employees. Right. Yeah, so it's okay. personnel versus. So you're, you're paying for a double that you actually have, but even with that, uh, you, I, I would you'd be very challenged to find and I, I really certainly encourage you to do it if you want to find another security vendor that will provide this ongoing service for for that much but the know. guys the guys have email also right yes yes all so yeah, all staff members have email so we have pretty close to 25 employees anyway so right it makes sense so the, the entire right staff. so the, right. the security vector isn't just workstations it's also every email account Did our computer all of our commissioners have yeah. emails. Yeah. So email. all those are included, right? Mm -hmm. They email right. right. Because right. Just, right. Even if, right. So if you're not using a authority computer, that doesn't mean you're not a source of a virus. Yeah, no, I, it's recipient or and or a source. Yeah, so I, I need to understand. I just want to understand if the people who are here, the staff, plus commissioners, all those are workstations. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah. I would just certainly need email address. address. You're not, yeah, you're not gonna have, you're not, if you went with this vendor, you would not be paying for more than right. Yeah, would do, be that, in that number, I would assume all personnel, like full time personnel, plus the seven commissioners once we staff up again. So, so the, the mail server is protected, that's what you're saying. That's Everything's protected. The mail server has all our email IDs along with the employee. Right, employees. so that's being protected by all mail coming that from a different service. So all mail going in there before it gets to your cloud provider, mm -hmm. it goes to a separate service that scrubs it, mm -hmm. analyzes it, and then uh, if no filter catches it, it sends it on. If it did catch it, you get that digest email saying, "Hey, do you want to view? Do you want to raise?" Right, right. And it also has that view table, so you can view it in a browser without actually opening yeah, it. Yeah. It just displays so it. So that's independent of, that's different services. That, yeah, that's already in place. So think of this more as... That's actually one of the most valuable things yeah. to, to protect yourself is the right. email security. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So think of it more as education to the employees for both in-house and also it's an education to our employees for at home also. Because it is. when you learn here, you're going to use the same skills at home to sort of look for certain things. So, okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean remember, there's been four police departments and two hospitals that got shut down in the last three years because of email. And it was an email that someone, not only did it get through the email, but it was an email that someone opened up, clicked, and then. I know a. Uh, got shut down. Former uh, 
it's the chairman who's got who's emailed about hack, right? <laughs> but that's yeah. so, <laughs> so in that case, I guess the next the question is what would be the next steps that you need from the board to proceed, or do you need anything? Uh, I, wanna, I would like to uh, talk about uh, offline with uh, April and the Brian. Okay. Uh, th yeah, uh, the forward you the email only came in this morning, um, and th they might have questions for them. Yeah, we'll we'll handle it offline. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? This is any other questions? Mm -hmm. Any questions for any of our professionals? No. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Well, um, all right, moving along. Executive director. Uh, executive all right, so if you pull up the executive director's report, uh, you'll see the first few reports are the revenue and expense and the cash report. Um, so this month on our monthly revenue, uh, we got a uh, nice bump, 139 uh, fees for 139 connection fees came in. So that was a nice little bump. Um, it was expected. Also, you'll see on our detailed connection fee chart, uh, you'll see where that came in for. Uh, so right now, so we have 166 and a half uh, units paid, um, and our goal for the year, our target for the year was 372, and we had still have some significant ones coming coming in um, over over the next few months. Uh, expenses are running pretty close to uh, what's what's projected so far for the use. Uh, naturally, as we've discussed in the past, some of the areas that are significantly overall due to mostly due to the Western Canal um, emergency work. And then uh, you also see our our uh, cash balance statements. Also part of tonight, um, as in the escrow account that we're paying out. We've started to go through and clean up escrow accounts that really the projects have been completed, but the money's been sitting in that. Um, so in my review of it, um, I, I worked with Jenny, our bookkeeper, and Christian to go through and do it. So this is the first of a multi-phase, uh, you know, cleaning that up. And tonight, tonight's total is around 27 grand, I think, mm -hmm. that we're handing out for escrows that have been completed. Uh, and some for a <coughs> All right. Uh, the audit, if you recall the audit from uh, last month, uh, so I did receive a final. There were a couple of items I cleaned up. Uh, if any of the commissioners looked through it and saw that, there were some year-to-date changes of over 200% um, from one category to another. That was a typo in the formula, so those... Uh, those errors were corrected. Uh, so we have a ordinance tonight <coughs> for uh, acceptance of that uh, um, fiscal of the audit, because as commissioners, you all need to sign uh, to sign for it. I believe, right? Certification. Yes, certification. All right, Southbound Brook uh, interlocal agreement status. So tonight is also a payment uh, to Southbound Brook. Uh, for them, uh, the agreement is still um, in discussion stage. We have not received it from them. Uh, again, I'm he we're hearing that they're going to want, they're going to wait until they have an ordinance that says that you know for for homes for new connections that flow into them, they're going to want the connection fee. And I've given my feedback that says that that's really not how the connection fee uh, works. So. You know, we'll wait and we'll see. We'll see if they take my feedback, but naturally my recommendation to the board would be not to sign that agreement if they want a connection fee for, from us. Uh, the Western Canal Force Main, so we've um, we currently have received a uh, the initial finding from them, the draft version. Um, uh, my team and I, we disagreed and I spoke to, uh, to Joe uh, and had Eric and I mean, I had uh, Christian and Scott involved in the discussions that uh, we're pre 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 preparing a response back to them as we're challenging a number of their uh, the assessments that was in the report. Uh, so I'm going to, once I get that uh, written up, I'm going to send it to Eric for his review. We'll send it back to them and then schedule a meeting with them to go over that. Uh, so that's where we are now. Uh, there'll be... Uh, 
an ordinance or a resolution for uh, the development agreement tonight for Veronica Avenue, which was approved la uh, last month. Uh, also for the AD, AD lease, and I just, April, I just went blank on what AD, the defibrillator. The defibrillator. Right. So we're going to have one here and one in uh, the garage area. Um, again, not something that we have to do, but just for the safety of our employees, um, we feel that. Um, April brought that to my attention and uh, did the analysis on it and then brought it to me. And um, we have, that's, uh, we went through Eric's office to review that and we're going to sign off on that. Are we bringing people, uh, somebody in to do the training to yes. the staff? Yes. yes. Brian, uh, real quick, uh, have you considered putting one on uh, one of the trucks? No, we didn't have that discussion. They're out in the field? Inserting themselves. So if we, that's a good point, but there, you, you wouldn't just have it on one because the trucks were all over the place. If you went to that, if you made that decision to do that, we'd have to probably do it in all of them or have a phased approach to doing them all. It's a good point. We can put it into discussion for, for next year's budget. Thank you. Good, good suggestion. Um, April, could you just take note of that so that way I thank you. Um, also, um, there's a resolution for um, that's going through Eric's uh, contract that's going through Eric's office. I don't know if you think that through the, the video security system and yeah. came with okay. you think, great. So um, I think there's additional reports for additional information that I see something today. Um, just for the resolution. That's all so that I'll be okay. That's okay. So um, if you recall one of my first meetings actually was was my first meeting that I, uh, that I was the executive director at. Uh, after being here for a month, there was a number of security-related concerns I had. Uh, this really is um, the final uh, phase of the implementation of security improvements on the grounds. Uh, we've already made changes here. These are additional changes, uh, so we'll be uh, moving forward with that. Uh, again, uh, due to the nature of it, if any commissioners have any questions, feel free to ask me. Um, offline, um, off the camera. For obvious reasons, we're not discussing security. All right, uh, the last one is you're going to see a resolution authorizing the final payment uh, to Franklin Township um, from the, the sewage authority. Um, I've offered my, um, my opinion on this um, to the chairman where I feel to the board that the board should not move forward on this. Um, there has been discussion about trying to get the town to be more realistic in, in, in really, which is the second tax they take from us. Um, they penalize our, our uh, payees. They are paying an additional tax that's really not necessary, in essence, to the town. Um, I've already told the um, you know, I've had discussions with some of you offline and in here that I, this is not something at all that I am in approval of um, and basically have informed the, um, the attorney and the chairman that I will not sign a check for over 100000 to the town. Um, I made it clear that I was willing to agree to 400000 which is approximately 3%. Uh, the amount of money that they want from us is is certainly not in the best interest of the sewage authority. It's in the interest, best interest of the township, but not the sewage authority. We've taken on almost a million dollar additional hit to our budget because of Western Canal that wasn't in it. Um, and unfortunately, the township, you know, really didn't take, they say they took that into consideration, but the harsh reality is they did not, in my opinion. So you will have to deal with that tonight as the resolu resolution in front of you uh, for authorization. All right. Um, resolutions are for, are you going to see resolutions for all the standard accounts, uh, um, payroll, operating expense, general fund, renewal. Let me ask a question on that earlier point. I'm, I'm just thinking of, and I'm sorry. Um, so. So what it is, what is it, and what's the part of discussion that has happened between town and us? And uh, so the town is, is allowed. Is there a regulation the town has that uh, binds us to pay them? So uh -huh. there's a state ordinance that that says 
that um, authorities, the township, uh, the municipality can uh, collect from the authority up to 5% of their operating budget. Um, and in the past, the township did that. And for full disclosure, when I sat on council, I sat as a council member and I voted for that. I, I will say that very clearly. Having, however, having sat in this seat and gotten more educated about what's involved here, uh, and hence started to promote on behalf of the sewage authority instead of, of the council. Uh, so I've had discussions with uh, the chairman, um, I've had discussions with the attorney, and I've also had discussions with various council members on this topic. Um, and a number of the council members I spoke to agreed that a 3% um, a three percent tax was was a fair compromise, which roughly 400000 is, give or take. So that's why I've kind of settled on that. Um, however, uh, you know, I did ask that the council implement a resolution stating that that was their intent to go from 5% to 3%. Uh, they chose not to do that. Um, and there's really no indication that um, there's a commitment to move towards that. Uh, now, having said that, the chairman has, um, and I believe him fully when he says that, uh, that is the intent. However, we all know in politics things change, people change on the council, you know, who's there this year, in two years it could be a complete different set of folks. So that's why even a resolution is not binding, um, and I understand that, but at least it shows intent that they understand the message that um, that I can only send as an executive director because that's all I am. Um, but, you know, certainly the board here could take up the item of uh, entertaining, delivering a resolution to them that says that you as a board expect the council to work with us in a more um, amenable conversation on trying to resolve this. Uh, right now the council does not take any input from us, nor as input. Excuse and me, Mr. Reed. That's enough, because the council does take input from us, so they do. And you have a you have a council member sitting present okay. also. So, so, Mr. Tor, so to answer your my, question, uh, the, um, this yeah. year the council had budgeted, or the town had budgeted $650,000. They have agreed to take $100,000 less, which would start reducing the payment with a plan to start reducing another $100,000 in the next year which now is the budget planning time and continuing to move forward from there because um, the town did rely on the sewage authority during economic challenges during the recession and now there is a reality due to conversations that that is not needed at this time but it also has to look at the impact on the uh, you can't just suddenly drop mid-year once it was budgeted so in talking with the CFO and the township manager this was a stepwise progression which would not impact the uh, municipality, nor would it impact the authority, given that we budgeted for 650000 and we're only paying 550 out of that. So I have two questions. Mm -hmm. uh, one to the executive director. Um, is the 550 in our budget? So as the chairman stated that... It is. I, in our budget as well as... The, the 650 yep, was in our budget, okay. as that's the direction I was given to put okay. in the budget. So my that. second question is to the attorney. Um, in your experience with the other authorities, mm -hmm. um, what is the norm that you observe? Is this out of line? Every, every dime they can get out of you. The norm is they want the full 5%. Mm -hmm. That's what they normally are expecting. It's part of the ongoing revenue stream they expect it. Okay. So we are not out of line no. in, by any means? No. All right. My understanding is that the council uh, and us have talked mm -hmm. and we have agreed to, agreed to 550. So we have agreed for this year, which is what we're, we're going to pay, make the second payment because we made the first half early yeah. in the year. We're going to make the second, yeah. which will, and the council, the reason we have to do it now is the council, or the um, municipal budget closes December 31st and this is our last meeting. So, so I heard you say it's 650. They gave us a concession. They're giving us to 550, 550 with the understanding that there were challenges. There was um, different things, but Weston Canal being one of them, and also they were looking to invest, reinvest in the municipality to help the residents, which this would help. 
And then next year's budget, the uh, township manager has already started looking at, and the CFO have started looking at next year's budget to reduce further down. Okay. So their numbers are starting to reduce down. What did the 400 come from that you're saying? Yeah, I'm just trying to Yep. So that was a calculation of roughly 3%. Okay, and what's the resolution say then? I guess we so the about it. So the first half was, so we made the $300,000 payment last year. Hmm. This one will be for the 250, which is the second payment to equal 550 for the year. And your recommendation is only pay 100 out of the 250? Is that what you're saying? So I'm, I'm actually not uh, making a recommendation to the, to uh, to you all, you do you want. What I've indicated is I will not sign a check for over $100,000. That will bring the total to four hundred thousand. And okay, Mr. P uh, the chair has said he's aware of that, and that he's working that issue with okay. the attorney. Okay, all right, I got that. Okay, all right, I understand that now. I'm, I'm sorry, I just didn't understand five fifty versus four hundred where that was. Good. Okay, with us originally budgeting six fifty for I the. Got it. Okay, I'm sorry. Thank you. Please proceed, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Thank Chair. You. Um, resolutions tonight include the uh, standard payroll operating expense general fund, R and R, the North Track, and then escrow. As I indicated earlier, we're cleaning up the escrow and we'll continue. Uh, resolutions for tonight include the deferred compensation plan, uh, which really is just a formalization of a plan that we've already had in place. Mm -hmm. um, it's just in the renewal of it. The development agreement, which I've uh, talked about before. Uh, the uh, defibrillator lease and installation. Uh, just for clarification on that, we that was a conscious decision to lease uh, because of the fact that uh, the, the uh, technology changes over time and improves, and April thought that it would be a better idea, and I agree fully with that, that we go with the lease, and that way we'll have the latest of the technology. With the record reflect, Commissioner Ford arrives at 704. Okay, um, and then the resolution for authorizing the final partial payment, um, resolution for the enhanced security, and then a resolution accepting the annual audit uh, for the fiscal year ending May 31st, 2019. Um, some other items that uh, to be aware of, uh, as, as the topic of the Rodney Year, additional Rodney Year review course, I suspect that uh, we expect that that will be all uh, presented to you for the next board meeting in January. Uh, we are in phase two of our office configurations, uh, whereas by the end of January, we expect the building, the reception, and um, the administrative manager's office to be uh, completely redone. Uh, and then uh, phase two of the security, which I've already talked about. And a save a date is March 11 to the 12th, 2020, for the utility management conference. Um, that is my report, Mr. Chairman. If you have any other questions or any other questions from any of the commissioners, please feel free to let me know. Okay, moving along. Uh, operations report. I didn't forget. Okay. I didn't Thank forget. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, for the uh, operations for November of 2019, um, under our pump stations, uh, last month I reported that the, uh, the voltage su uh, suppressor at Wilson Road was defective. It uh, was received and installed by staff. Um, Somerset Street Pump Station, the new station, our guys did a full detailed clean of the concrete slab and painted the floor to match our existing stations. Um, six mile run, we brought in a, our emergency contractor for pump stations. We were having an intermittent electrical issue um, that we could not troubleshoot. Uh, they came in and, and did some troubleshooting and found the auxiliary contactor needed to be replaced um, with a recommendation to change all of them due to the age. So they have been ordered, they actually received yesterday. Um, it's actually a minor uh, cost, they're like 10 bucks a piece. Um, under East Millstone, uh, the guys this month the, uh, replaced the thermostat on the emergency generator and the belts for the fan. Um, the Stonehenge. Uh, during the, uh, the routine services we did last month, it was noted that the uh, guide rails for the pumps were uh, uh, deteriorated, so we replaced them on pump one. I did order 
um, spare guide rails for pump two. They are not needed at this time, but it's, it's going to be a matter of time before you are. Um, under Meadow Avenue, uh, right before the Thanksgiving weekend, we had uh, our main controller, uh, pump controller for Meadow Ave, operating the pumps, failed uh, during routine exercising of the generator. Uh, the PLC and the, the touch screen went blank. We could not restore it. We tried troubleshooting with pumping services over the phone. Um, basically, it's, uh, it's kaputs. Um, a, new, a new unit has been ordered. It's a four to six week uh, lead time. Uh, I talked to Brian and we thought it was in our best interest to have a, the station was operating under its secondary controller, which is your backup. Okay, and it was operating like it's supposed to. But for a four to six week lead time, we thought it was in our best interest to have additional insurance and put in a temporary controller okay. Uh, while we wait for the, the new touch screen and, and PLC to be installed. Um, so that was installed right before Thanksgiving and, and the station's operating like normal. <clears throat> um, as well at Meadow Avenue, did the, the guys changed the uh, leaking water pump on the generator as well as the engine block heater. Uh, under our order and corrosion control, um, the local performed their monthly uh, service and inspection. Uh, due to the um, data off of the odor logs that we put in the manholes uh, at the outfalls, we were able to reduce the feed rates at four of our larger sites, um, which ultimately you know, ends up a cost savings to the authority. There were no order complaints for the month. Under our uh, developer and inspection related issues, um, performed uh, final inspections for Canal Walk and Summerfields. Uh, we performed uh, inspections for the future warehouses at 415 Western Canal and 50 Veronica, um, and inspections for bridge developers, which eventually is going to be an Amazon building and two other warehouses. Uh, we also did the uh, final inspection uh, of the uh, Cottontail Lane um, Township Road Paving Project. That is now complete. Under our collection system, uh, gravity sewer flushing. During the month, the crew uh, cleaned and flushed uh, 38,220 feet of main sewer line as part of our ongoing preventive maintenance program. Uh, current estimate from January of 2019 to present is 43% of our overall goal. Um, this month, we responded to 14 Honeyman Street down in the Grigstown area of town for a faulty E1 grinder. As you know, we have 65 units down there that we maintain. Um, the unit was swapped out with an operating unit and the faulty pump was brought back there and re re rebuilt. Uh, on the 21st of November, we got a call early in the morning that the, uh, the township had ripped out the, uh, the top half of an 8 inch gravity sewer while installing a um, uh, drainage pipe along the side of the road. Um, it's where our, our 8 inch gravity crosses. We have a right of way through the corner of someone's property. The 8 inch gravity was ripped out. Our guys responded accordingly, um, repaired it very, you know, very efficiently. But it took some time afterwards, after we made a repair, to clean all the debris that had entered the pipe. Um, so it was, about, it was about a six hour day out there. Um, all, all's, uh, all's well. Carl called and apologized for the mishap, and uh, all's good. Hey, Scott? Yes, sir. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I just uh, because I live in near Bridgetown, I have this affinity for this. <laughs> do you do we charge them more for those 65 grinders, or they just no, pay the normal? No, still still unit connection. Normal unit. Connection. When the authority put the sewer in down there, there were 65 basically flag locks that couldn't make gravity, so the authority installed the uh, yeah. the grinders. Yeah, so, so the agreement is basically. Um, we, she, we're all going to be long gone before the authority is done with having to um, <laughs> to, to have yeah, to do with We have them for life. I know. Yeah. It, it's life times. It runs right in front of my house right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Nope. All right. So the pipe is fixed. Pipe is fixed. Okay. So so just tell Carl like next time we hit a water line or something like you know we're, we're calling it even. Just call and apologize. <laughs> yep. That's all we have to do. <laughs> Uh, under our complaint and alarms, guys responded to several complaints during work hours after hours for residents that were complaining of slow draining sewers. Um, fortunately for us this time, uh, this month, they were all on the, the homeowner's side. Um, we advised them to contact the plumber and obviously we educate them and, and, and tell them the best route to, to go. 
Um, we did respond to a few after-hour pump station alarms. A uh, some, some, couple of them were related to the uh, debris interfering with the level controller and uh, interruptions in city power. Uh, under safety and training, there were no accidents or injuries for the month of November. Uh, on 11-6 of the month, three of our maintenance staff were invited to Franklin Miller, which is the manufacturer of the sewage grinders that we operate at our pump stations, for a uh, full mechanics training class. Um, the feedback I got from our three guys uh, was very educational. They did a full tear down of the, of the Franklin Miller grinders that we have, and then a full rebuild. So it was very educational. And that's at most of our pump stations, correct? Or all? Uh, not most, but we okay, do have a significant amount. Okay. And that's pretty much what you, we, you've been installing at Correct. Okay. correct. Under our connections for the, for the current month, we have 100, 139, I think Brian had brought up. Uh, total to date is 166 and a half, and anticipated for the fiscal year is 273. All right, so getting closer. We're getting there. That's it. Thank you. Right. Uh, moving on to com committee reports, negotiations and personnel. Municipal <coughs> okay. liaison. Okay. Construction. Okay. Is there a meeting is scheduled this this month? Construction meeting. So yes, there'll be the Hamilton uh, 19. Uh, I. I think we included all the updates now on the invites. I, I believe they, so. That you are okay. included on the calendar. Invites. So please uh, send me the invite. All right, and then safety, Scott. You said everybody was healthy, so we're safe. Thank you. Okay. Moving along, the approval of resolutions will be done by consent agenda. All the items listed below are to consider to be routine, but in uh, nature, thereby requiring one motion and one second for all items. If any member wishes to remove or discuss an item for the consent agenda, please advise me at this time which resolution needs to be handled separately or you bet you want to discuss, and they will be addressed and voted on separately. All right, so anything that needs to be moved to the side or discussed, this is just for the consent agenda. All right, uh, payroll account, $147,333.52, operating expenses account, $272,420.10, general fund $1,686, renewal and replacement $919,234.07, north track crossings $871.67, and escrow $26,833.68. Is there a motion to approve, uh, a motion to approve the consent agenda? So moved. Second. Okay, roll call please. Mr. Anderson? Yes. Ms. DeVoe? Yes. Ms. Ford? Yes. Mr. Tawari? Yes. And Chairman Gautier? Yes. All right, moving on to your motion for uh, additional resolutions. Resolution authorizing the executive director to execute all necessary documents relative to a deferred compensation plan with Lincoln National Life Insurance Company on behalf of the Franklin Township Sewage Authority. Is there a motion to? Motion. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Roll call, please. Mr. Anderson? Yes. Ms. DeVoe? Yes. Ms. Ford? Yes. Mr. Tawari? Yes. And Chairman Gautieri? Yes. Uh, is there a motion to uh, approve the resolution accepting the audit for fiscal year ending May 31st, 2019, and certification of the same? Motion. Second. Okay. Roll call, please. Mr. Ryan Donaldson? Yes. Ms. DeVoe? Yes. Ms. Ford? Yes. Mr. Tawari? Yes. And Chairman Galtieri? Yes. Uh, Chairman, I would remind all commissioners they are not to leave until they've signed their lives away. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's only a handful of signatures. It should be good. Uh, is there a motion to accept the to approve the resolution to authorize the execution of the capacity allocation de developers on track and off track agreement between the Franklin Township Sewage Authority and CRP CHI, Veronica Avenue Owners LLC, regarding the property designated at Block 8801, Lot 5.01 of the official tax map of the Township of Franklin, and to authorize the Chair and Secretary to execute on behalf of the authority as approved during the November 6, 2019 board meeting. So moved. Second. Okay, roll call, please. Mm -hmm. Ms. Brown Donaldson? Yes. Ms. DeVoe? Yes. Ms. Ford? Yes. Mr. Tawari? Yes. And Chairman Galtieri? Yes. Is there a motion to approve the resolution authorizing the final payment, partial payment to the Township of Franklin for uh, for the annual request on behalf of the Franklin Township Sewage Authority? 
So moved. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Roll call, please. Mr. Ann Barrington? Yes. Ms. DeVoe? Yes. Ms. Ford? Yes. Mr. Tawari? Yes. And Chairman Galtieri? Abstain. Is there a motion to approve the resolution for a lease to install and maintain an AED unit in the administration building and maintenance building? So moved. Neither. Hmm? What is that? The AED? The defibrillator. The defibrillator. The defibrillator. The defibrillator. Automatic okay. electronic. Okay. It's actually an agreement with yeah. Life oh, 336. Yeah, I was thinking, what the, that idea, I know. <laughs> yes. Okay, uh, for the second. Okay. Roll, roll call, please. Sure. Mr. Ann Barrington? Yes. Ms. DeVoe? Yes. Ms. Ford? Yes. Mr. Tuari? Yes. And Chairman Galtieri? Absolutely. All right, um, another motion. We're seeking to authorize the Chair and Secretary to execute an agreement with CME's Sorry, CDM Smith, combining the two engineering firms. CDM Smith, for the purposes of providing professional services related to the East Millstone concept in an amount. We, yes. $338,700 with optional services of thirty six six. Hey, it is not part of the resolutions here? No. Okay. The motion that we will there uh, we'll formalize. formalize at the January meeting by resolution. Okay. It's a motion authorizing the expenditure subject also certification of funds in an amount not to exceed $374,700. Okay. Is there a motion? Motion. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Roll call, please. Mm -hmm. Ms. Ron Barrison? Yes. Ms. DeVoe? Yes. Ms. Ford? Yes. Mr. Tuari? Yes. And Chairman Galtieri? Yes. Uh, I, would make, I would make sure I have a copy so we can we'll do the resolution. Yep. All right. Based on the conversation, I'm assuming that we don't need a resolution for the mm -hmm. enhanced security system. Is that correct? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Uh, All right. Uh, that's it for uh, resolutions. Is there any need for executive session tonight? No. Okay. Oh, so the, it's lacking the specificity? Yeah. Okay. So, oh, yeah. hey, pretty quick, to end the year, is there a motion to adjourn? Oh, wait, wait, before I want to, yeah. no, Chairman, uh, basically I just want to say, uh, I want to say uh, happy holidays. Um, I hope everybody has a safe holidays and get to enjoy it with your families. Uh, safe New Year, and we'll see everybody in uh, 2020. Happy holidays, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, too. And uh, thank you again to the staff and everybody and our professionals for your hard work again this year. Uh, I know it's it's been a slightly easier year, so let's hope that 2020 goes a little smoother also. But uh, looking forward to the next year, everybody. So go ahead, you can start. I won't hold you up on it. All right, with that, is there a motion to uh, adjourn? Oh, shit. Hold on. Did you do public? Hold on. Hold on. What? Did you oh. do public? Yeah. At the very beginning. Ooh. Yes, sir. Mr. Chairman. Yes. Oh, sorry. Uh, April, go ahead. Um, we are having our biannual staff meeting on December 20th here at the Authority at 12 noon, and we wanted to extend an invitation to uh, the commissioners to join us if you're available. December 20th at 12 noon. December 20th at 12 noon. Mm -hmm. So we will close the doors at 12 o'clock and have lunch and have our annual biannual meeting. Well, that's, nice. that's enticing, but if I'm coming on 19th for a construction meeting, I can't come on 20th. <laughs> <laughs> Just, <laughs> Just <laughs> given the choice of I know, right? construction <laughs> meeting. See, lunch, bed, lunch sounds better. <laughs> Just call on the 19th. All right. Uh, what's on the 19th? What? Construction meeting. Oh, the construction meeting. Okay. okay. Okay, now do we have a motion to adjourn? See, I tried getting us out of here uh, like earlier. Uh, is there a motion to adjourn? Motion. Second. Okay. Uh, all those in favor of adjourning the meeting, say aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Aye. All right. Thank you.